guys, how you doing? And welcome back to our channel. When our comprehension of physical law deepens, we know that so much of its potential is untapped. Who knew we would see creativity taking over so subtly and quickly? The building industry has a lot to sell and a lot of undiscovered ways. This has been proven over and over again by these ingenious construction workers who are on another level. Number 8. Rock Wool Insulation Who realized that the rocks weren't there about tricking you over? This recently developed methodology has modified the methods of separation that we used to rely on in ancient times. In our primary school, we were told how well curtains and carpets operated as insulators, holding the heat in or out depending on the season. Wedged between two brick walls, these fillings perform wonderfully well to keep your homes warm in the harshest of winters. What's more, the skill it took to come up with this alone is brilliant. Once the house and its walls have been built, small holes are bored into the wall and a pumping system fills the room in two. Since making it all up, the gaps are covered with small concrete corks, and this essentially holds the temperature steady. This rock and this product are basically one and the same, but in a different form. We've created a new product for the construction industry using the Number seven, concrete casting. Concrete casting uses a particular method of high performance concrete that's used in the past, current and near future. As long as there's a need to create roads based on the high water level soil and nearly all constructions, whether offshore or onshore. The word high performance concrete applies to concrete that performs especially well in at least three main performance indicators, strength, workability, and service life. Concrete, we realize, is reinforced by the bond of water, and the combination of the two strengthens the structure and makes it more robust and durable. Number six, Interlocking bricks. Imagine Legos, but much more effective in having solid structural reinforcement. Interlocking bricks are the improved version of typical clay bricks. Each brick is built constructively to be interlocked with the other bricks that surround it without the use of an adhesive. Self-locking is accomplished with the use of the old school key and lock system, one that still performs our biological processes. Dependent on the pattern derived from the delicate fabric of nature, the form of the key will differ and there's a complementary lock on the opposite side of the brick. Low transition is accomplished by the transfer of shear and gravity. The inner locking bricks are compressed and stabilized earth bricks which contribute to the strength of the structure. Usually, they're not subject to baking. Interlocking bricks come in varying size and locking mechanisms depending on the retailer. The conventional methods of beams and poles is now out of fashion, so you don't need to lay bricks anymore. A proactive worker only wants to stack the bricks in whatever manner the blueprint demands, then cover it with motor to get the job done. Number 5. Schluter A prowess in uncoupling and waterproofing membranes, the Schluter Ditra is made of polyethylene. Ditra functions as a waterproofing layer that covers moisture-sensitive substrates such as plywood or OSB. And free space on the underside of the matting provides a path for accumulated moisture and vapor to avoid damage to the tile layer above. As a result, Integrating this into our buildings, businesses eliminate flood erosion from breaking down our walls and weakening structural integrity. Water is known for its erosive strength, and as the continued, even though it is a decline, the flow of water is known for the degradation of buildings, and in order to prevent this from occurring, Schluter has taken upon himself the task of preventing this and damaging our walls. Not even and straight, and that could be a little bit of an issue. Uh, when you go to set tile in general. Number four, wall finishing. After designing a house, it cannot be left unfinished to look like a rough construction of a home and not exactly a habitable location, and to make it more beautiful, this technique was first applied. Wall finishing has been found to be significant in the appealing dimension. 
This occurs when the house is constructed and structured, but the walls still look incomplete, rugged, as if they weren't tended to at all. To compensate for this, the constructive staff came up with the concept of coating the wall in evenly applied Paris or concrete plaster to give it a cleaner appearance. Later, this may be adorned with paint or texture, but the very first layer remains with the finishing. This gives the wall a look so sophisticated that you don't even see the need to paint it over. The wall is primed for further work on it. Number 3. Underflooring Heating This latest skill and its incorporation have revolutionized the way we're going through the building. Previously, people would depend on radiators to keep the house warm and if one could not afford it, they would revert to packing their homes with thick curtains and latent carpets. Low temperature underfloor heating is either embedded in the floor or put under the floor covering. As such, it doesn't occupy any wall space and produces no fire risks as it's much more comfortable and efficient. It transforms the whole floor into a working heater and keeps the house warm as a result. Who would have even dreamed of this? The brilliance of this! And isn't that the work of dreams? Your home would be heated and comfortable precisely because the pipes beneath the floor or the carpet are doing their job unceasingly especially if one is no longer dependent on the dangerous and heavy radiators of the time gone by. Number 2. Docaflex Docaflex has been shown to be essential to supporting large-scale monstrous constructs. It's super strong and carries the weight of unbound strength. It's especially used in the construction of large buildings as it builds the foundation of every house. That is the fixing and piling of boards consisting of heavy metal alloys and beams of equal composition. They manage high indestructive houses and structures. The foundation that is made from these metal frame beams and boards withstands any calamity or catastrophe. In comparison, it's still very easy to deal with. What the worker has to do is stack it up and position it in the right place. Docaflex is a genuinely innovative contribution to the building industry, questioning old-school concepts and traditional methods, permanently replacing a much poorer timber equivalent. Number 1. Palmaster Thanks to Palmaster, one of the most pivotal improvements in tiling and floor leveling has been made. This technique was unique in its process, Paul Master was a technique introduced to hold the tiles tightly in place. After cementing the concrete space, these tiles were placed on the wet and adhesive cement and the tiles were put in place by adding them to the adjacent tile. This meant that each tile would be fixed to the level of those around it, which ensures that the floors would be smooth and level. This changed the old-fashioned way of work by bringing down and cementing bricks where you used to waste hours and hours to do so. This technique has taken the pressure away from working hours. Give us your thoughts about these construction techniques in the comments section below while also hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel if you haven't already so you can catch up on more insightful content like this in the future. And with that, I'll be catching you guys later in another video. Bye now!